Expand each logarithm using the appropriate logarithm rule. In part A, evaluate the base 2 logarithm of 0. We can evaluate logarithms using other rules as well. The following rules should be memorized. The base b logarithm of x has the domain x is greater than 0. The base b logarithm of 1 equals 0. The base b logarithm of b equals 1. b raised to the power of the base b logarithm of x equals x. The base b logarithm of b to the power of x equals x. Returning to the question, the base 2 logarithm of 0 is undefined because the domain of a logarithm is x is greater than 0. In part b, evaluate log of negative 3. Log of negative 3 is undefined because the domain of a logarithm is x is greater than 0. In part c, evaluate the base 2 logarithm of 1. The logarithm of 1 is 0 for all possible bases according to the rule the base b logarithm of 1 equals 0. In part d, evaluate the base 4 logarithm of 4. The base 4 logarithm of 4 equals 1. When the base and argument are the same, the logarithm is 1, according to the rule, the base b logarithm of b equals 1. In part e, evaluate 5 raised to the power of the base 5 logarithm of x. The result is x. According to the rule, b raised to the power of the base b logarithm of x equals x. When the base of the power is the same as the base of the logarithm, the result is the argument of the logarithm. In part f, evaluate the base 2 logarithm of 2 raised to the power of x. According to the rule, the base b logarithm of b to the power of x equals x. When the bases are the same, the result is the exponent of the argument. In part g, simplify the base 5 logarithm of 25 to the power of k. Rewrite 25 as 5 squared. Multiply the exponents. Use the rule shown to get the result to k. In part h, simplify the base a logarithm of root a to the power of k. Write the radical as an exponent. Multiply the exponents. Use the rule shown to get the result, k over 2.